Hello, I'm making this video to show you how to remove the optical drive from your HP 6063B Pro Book. And I'm also going to show you how you can actually increase the storage of this laptop as well just by removing the optical drive. First thing you want to do is always remove the battery first. Well, remove this, like this. And then you want to remove the bottom panel. And that's what I like about these Pro Books and their Elite Books. Real easy to get to the motherboard and the components of this laptop. All you need to do is just hit one switch right here and you can remove the whole face plate, the whole bottom plate. Okay, I'm back. So I just deleted some uh, videos off my memory card to get more space. So let's go. So what you want to do now, you just want to locate, there's one screw that holds the optical drive in place and you have to look you know it's really small print but you can see right here is this screw so once you remove um this screw then you um could remove the optical drive so i'm gonna do it here okay that's it and okay this is nice the screw won't fall out I'm okay so all you do then just you know pull it out there's your optical drive, optical drive. So what you want to do also to increase the storage now, you could buy a second um, hard drive bay according to the model of laptop that you have. And I know this will work with the Lenovo laptops and uh, HP Pro Books and Elite Books. But I don't know about other um, you know laptops like Toshiba and other brands. But these Pro Books and Elite Books and Lenovo work the same way. So once you remove the optical drive, what you can do, you can actually get this right here. This is a um, second hard drive bay. And with this bay, you could put um, a solid state drive or hard drive in it. And you can use this as your second storage device. So right now in this bay, I have actually a one terabyte hard drive in here. So that's giving me a lot of space. Actually, this was removed from my Lenovo. I had this one used in my Lenovo workstation. And this is actually why I run everything off, just this. And what's great about this, you know, when you put two hard drives in a laptop, you could have a dual boot system, which will allow you to, you know, you could put um, on your main hard drive, you could put like Windows 10, right? Then on your second hard drive, you could put another operating system like um, Windows 7, or whatever operating system that you want on your second hard drive you could do it that way have dual boot so basically you know if one of your hard drive dies like the main hard drive you still have all your information on your second hard drive or you will have a complete you know operating system on your hard drive in case one of these drives fails you have another one to continue your work and this is why I use mines for so once you get the hard drive bay and you put your hard drive and it fits in the same way as it fits you know on a laptop so once you get it in there like this all you have to do is just slide it in like this see if it fits there we go and I wanted to mention that these hard drive bays are actually um, most of them are universal you know if you get a one for HP most likely it may fit your Lenovo laptop because this one actually I bought for the Hewitt Packard, but it fits the Lenovo um, Workstation 510. Fits it perfectly fine. So they mostly are universal, but you have to make sure, you know, check your model of your laptop to make sure it will fit. So all you do is put it in and then you just screw it back. And I don't think the screw actually screws back in this one. Let me take it, let me see if I can take it back out. And this is what you have to really look at too, when you get um, different hard drive bays. There we go. You just want to take a look at it real quick to show you. Okay, this one's a little bit different. As you can see, there's a right here. Uh, I'm take this piece. I think this piece just screws on, but as you can see, it has like a little insert where the screw screws into to hold the hard drive. That's not really necessary. If you have a bay like this that don't have it, as you can see, it's not on there. Um, doesn't really matter. It's just for you know secure it in. It's already uh, when you put it in, it's already secure. So, you know it's not going to fall out. But this is just like extra support or security, so it doesn't come out of your um, your laptop. If you get a good picture. 
There we go, see? And I believe this one screws on. I'm not really sure, but it looks like it. You can actually buy this piece on eBay as well. Because it looks like it screws right in. So what you would do, you know, you would buy one of these. Um, I don't know what it's called. But you would buy this piece right here. You can find it online. And it would screw onto the back. As you can see, there's two mounting holes for this piece. There we go. Right here. So if you bought this piece right here, it will screw right into the um, back of this hard drive bay. But like I say, you don't really need it, you know. It fits in there really tight, and you don't have to worry about it coming out. So I'm just going to put it in. And that's it. Now you're done. Put this back. There we go. And put the barrier back in. Okay, there we go. There we go. So it's all back in. As you can see, there is your second bay hard drive. And also, I wanted to mention too, um, since you know you can see the faceplate is missing, but um, you can actually buy those off of eBay for like five or six bucks, or you could just remove it off for your hard drive that you remove. You know, you could take this off and attach it to here, but I actually haven't did that because um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get it off. It's kind of hard to get off, but um, yeah, you could buy these. You know, if you don't like the way it looks with the drive being open like this. You could just um, take this off of your old optical drive and put it on your second drive if you need to. But that's it. And of course, you know, when I boot it up, you will see that actually all the Lenovo drivers and the Le Lenovo, I'm sorry, all the Lenovo drivers and its operating systems all on that um, second hard drive. So, of course, I won't be able to use it. You know, I will have to reformat it. But I just did this as an example to show you that you can, you know, add a second hard drive to your device. Hard to see, but it said right now, start Windows normally. And the reason why this came up is because I removed the optical drive and put in a storage drive. You know, I put in a second hard drive. And this went to another laptop, so this is why this information is coming up. But normally it won't. So I'm trying to see what hard drive I'm going to use. So right now this laptop has two hard drives. One, you know, the first hard drive is the main hard drive that's in this laptop that I use. And now I added just the second hard drive. So you can have basically, you know, a dual boot system. Or extra storage space so with an extra terabyte of space that's a lot you could store your videos you can edit your videos from there but right now I think it's actually booting from the second hard drive looks like it but you know that's about it so if you want to add a second hard drive to this laptop you know it's a great feature this is why I like you know laptops that have optical drives because if you don't use them you can remove them and you can put in more storage you can put in another hard drive and have a you know dual operated system or dual system that boots so that's about it and again you know I hope you like this video if you like it give it a likes give it a thumbs up and I'm ma making more videos um, using the HP 6063 notebook thank you